We often hear that the Bible has answers to our everyday questions. Well, one of the first things most of us has to decide every day is what we're going to put on. And guess what? The Bible has an answer for that. In Colossians 3, the Apostle Paul is addressing Christians and he's teaching on how to live a life that honors Christ. In the midst of that, he talks about what to put off, what to put on, and how we are made alike in Christ. And because of that alikeness, prejudices and things that separate should be made null and void, powerless. Let me read from the passage in Colossians. But now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. So in this passage, Paul instructs us what to put off how we should no longer live, because in Christ we are new, we're different. And he goes on to tell us what to put on, the new ways we should live that demonstrate the character of Christ. But in between what to put off and what to put on is one scripture sandwiched in there, dealing with labels. Labels were used to differentiate and carried with it the idea of being other than, and often the added judgment of being less than. You know what? We still do it today. Baptist or Pentecostal, American or Russian or Chinese, liberal or conservative, Republican or Democrat, black or white, red state or blue state, white collar or blue collar, rich or poor, we spend a lot of time focusing on how we're different. But this verse tells us not to focus on our differences. If anyone wanted to let differences separate us, no one had a better argument to do that than Jesus. He is holy, we are not. The word holy means set apart, or some say other than. He could look at us and reject us, because we are different. But instead, he longs for relationship, so much so that he paid an unbelievable price. This passage describes God creating a new community of people, first by having us lay down who we were, then putting on new characteristics and behaviors, and then he wants us to stop cherishing the things that separate us ethnicity, or language, or intellect, or culture, or race. The old man would seek significance in what we were in relation to other people. We're Jews, we're Greeks, we're circumcised, we're free, we're rich, we're strong, we're smart, we're funny. The new man finds significance in who we are in Christ. Christ is all and is in all. The scripture lists virtues to put on, and then above all those virtues, it says to put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. My prayer for us this week is that we would focus less on the things that separate us and focus more on the one who desires to make us one. Love you guys.